Hey everyone, it's White Light here with um, uh, hopefully a brief tutorial on how to set up uh, a private Agario server on Windows using something called Ogar. Now a lot of people came to me on IRC and they were asking about how to do this and when I directed them to the site they still weren't quite understanding um, which I get it's uh, difficult for some people to uh, like read through a whole bunch of text and fully understand what it's saying so hopefully um, if you read along while you're watching this it'll help you out so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your web browser and navigate to github.com and you're gonna go to the Ogar um, Ogar page. Now don't worry about uh, copying this down, don't worry about pausing it, I'll I include the link at the bottom in the description so you don't have to worry about it. So the first thing you gotta do, it's really simple, you just go to the right side of the page and hit download the zip. And you can hit OK and open. And once it's downloaded, it's a very small file, you're just going to drag it to your desktop wherever you like, and it's just about done. So before we touch that, I'd like to, to go over just um, a few of the configuration settings and uh, what you're going to be expecting. Uh, so all the settings for the game is located in this gameserver.ini file. Now, if you're just going to be you know, hosting a couple of your friends or whatever, you really don't need to touch it. It's, um, it's, it's really for those who are interested in doing some advanced settings, um, if you're just, you know, want to get a couple friends to, to mess around in free-for-all, you don't need to worry about it at all. If you are interested, uh, you can open it up. There's some nice comments. Um, all the settings are very easy to understand. Um, so you should check it out. It can definitely improve the game to make it a lot more fun and interesting. Uh, but if you're just looking for something as simple as possible, you don't need to worry about it. Now, Ogar has five different game modes and the first three are just like in regular Agario free-for-all teams and experimental but tournament and hunger games are something different I haven't had the chance to try it but you can already tell from the name it's gonna be pretty cool uh, so you guys might want to check that out as well uh, so you can just um, change the server game mode in the configuration file I talked about before and that will allow you to change that this is also a console program, which means you're going to have a nice black box that looks really ugly, and you're going to be typing in the commands. So this page has a list of all the commands available, how to use them, and what exactly it does. So if you're interested in that, I strongly recommend that you take a look, take a read, understand uh, all the commands available so that you can have as fun an experience as possible. Now, to get to the actual program itself, running it on Windows is extremely easy. There's just one file, it's called launch.bat. Just double click it, and it's done. So, it just has to start up, and there it is. Now, when you're um, running the server, it is uh, a very lightweight uh, software. Okay, uh, that means you don't have to worry too much about it using a lot of your system resources. Uh, that means that you can run this, you know, have uh, you know, have your friends play and whatnot on your server, and still be able to enjoy the game yourself. Okay, um, so that's that's the important thing. It's it doesn't require a lot of resources. It doesn't require a lot of um, investment. It really only takes a few minutes of your time. So this is uh, the listening port right here. And it's important, but it's not the port that you're going to be dealing with. Because this program is designed to be run on hosted servers, you know, in um, big data centers out in, the, out in the cities close to high-speed networks. It's not meant for, um, for the standard home connection. But that's okay, because we can, we can work with this. So um, what we have to do is we have to tell the router that your computer is connected to to send all the information that is coming to it, uh, the uh, specified information anyway, and send it to this port 443 in order so that your computer can communicate with the other computers out there that want to play with you. 
Now, the instructions for this is going to be very different for everyone. So, I won't be able to go over all the instructions, um, but there is a really great website called portforward.com. I'll also be including this link. Um, so, you can go to this, and we're going to go to list of all routers, and you're going to want to find your specific brand. Now, uh, I don't really want to go looking through all of them to find mine, so I'm just going to guess with one net one. Now I'm going to stop right here just to say this is not necessary. You don't need this. This is, I don't know why they sell it, I guess because they have to make money somehow, but it's not necessary for this. So don't worry, you don't have to pay a penny, you can just hit close. So on this page you'll just find the model of your router. There's only one listed here, so we're going to choose that. And here you don't have to go scrolling through because you won't find the proper game for it. So all we have to do is go through the default guide. So just click that and we'll carry on. Now to set up port forwarding, your computer needs to have what's called a static IP address. And I know some people get confused, I did too, um, between one from your internet provider and one uh, from like a local static IP address and what's important is the local one so I want you to follow um, this static IP address guide right here and uh, that'll help you set it up I don't want to go through this all right now because it's such a tedious process and it's going to be the same for everyone so just click that link follow the guide and it will tell you exactly what to do and once you've done that, you can carry on with the video. So maybe you want to pause it and do that. So once you've got your static IP address, uh, you're going to want to log into your router. You know, use the admin password and whatever. And you're going to want to find the port forward settings. It's possibly under firewall, but it might be under something else. So like I said, the instructions are different for every router. So the important thing here is this destination port and the source port. The destination port here has to be port 443, the matching port of the server. That's the destination that all the packets, all the information that's coming from the outside is going to the router and then it's being sent to your computer. Your computer is the destination. The source port needs to be something different. And I like to suggest, you know, some port that's above 10,000 just to avoid any sort of complications and conflictions. Because some internet providers don't like you using port 443. It can cause some issues, uh, and it's probably a bad idea if you use it. So, I don't know, just as an example, we can set the source port to, like, 12,722, okay? So if you set the source port to that, and the destination port to 443, and the server IP address to your local static IP address that you set up earlier, all you have to do is hit apply, you might have to reboot your router, but once that happens, it's done. Then you can just use um, you know, any uh, plugin or whatever to connect to IPs like agariomods.com you and your friends can connect directly to your IP address and play on your server. It's, it's really that simple. Once, once you've done the port forwarding, honestly the port forwarding is the hardest part, and once you've done that, you're, you're done forever. You don't have to worry about it ever again. So I hope you guys uh, learned from this. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or on Reddit. Um, uh, once again, I'll be linking to everything else in the description below. Um, so I hope you guys have a lot of fun and enjoy playing with your friends. Because, you know, why not have fun playing Agario, right? Uh, so, uh, like, subscribe maybe. I don't know if I'll be posting many videos. Um, I will be posting a tutorial for Linux later. Um, that one's going to be more command line based. It's not going to be spending uh, much time using the graphic interface because I don't do that much with Linux. Uh, so keep an ear out for that if you're interested. Uh, otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day.